Welcome back to Ann Arbor as we get closer to kickoff between Michigan and Ohio State. This is the rivalry. We are just outside the big house and I've got a former Wolverine joining me right now, a guy that everybody from Northwest Ohio will know, a former Wauseon Indian as well, Elliot Mueller. Uh, first off, before we get going on the football thing, update everybody uh, on what you're doing. You're living out in LA and you're a big, yeah. you're a big uh, star on the big screen now, right? <laughs> I'm working on it. Working, working on, on it. it, okay. Yes, All yes. Right. Doing a lot of commercials right now, but yeah, living in Los Angeles, and it's uh, it's been great. I love it out there, but coming back home, I love that too, and it's just uh, the cold is making me appreciate <laughs> L.A., so it's it's good to get that. Does it take you a minute to get adjust, readjusted to the cold? You've been out there for I, a while? I think so. I used to live in Florida. Living in L.A., you get used to the warm <laughs> weather, and, and now I'm out here, so it's uh, got to adjust back. You're a big, tough kid. You grew up in Wauseon. Uh, you'll handle it for a few hours. Oh, yeah. uh, all right, so how much do you still watch the Wolverines every week, even being out there? Oh, I'm, I'm glued to the TV. I'm lucky. L.A. has a huge uh, Michigan base, and especially some teammates live out there, so we're always texting and figuring out where to go and going to the Michigan bar or watching at a teammate's house. So it's I don't miss a game, that's for sure. Who are some of the former Michigan players that you still uh, communicate with? Uh, there's a guy, J.B. Fitzgerald, who, who yep. graduated with me. He's uh, He was one of my roommates with Kevin Coger, yep. Toledo great. And uh, so he's out there. And then uh, Jonas Mouton, uh, he's in L.A. a lot. And uh, so, yeah, but we communicate. We have a big group chat of former Michigan players from my era, so to speak. Awesome. So there's 30 or 40 of us that are always talking about the games and stuff. So it's, it's great. Awesome. So as a player, when you're about two hours away from kickoff against Ohio State, what is going through you at this moment? You know, I think all your preparation has been through spring ball and the summer. You're always talking about Ohio State. So I think your preparation's there. Now it's just getting your focus and preparing, knowing your assignments and, and uh, you know, just really getting in focus and, and knowing that you're a part of this great rivalry. This is why you come to Michigan. So uh, it's a special moment. Uh, one matchup everybody's going to have to watch today is obviously going to be Chase Young against that Michigan offensive line. As an offensive lineman yourself, how would you go about trying to stop a guy who's gonna be very rich in just a few months as one of the top picks in the NFL draft? Well, like you said, as an offensive lineman, to me, the key to the game is gonna be establishing a run game yeah. and being able to grind out their defense, keep their offense off the field, and, uh, and, and not having to rely on the pass game, which we're doing great with the pass game, but not having to rely on it utilizing it more than relying. So, uh, and you get slide protections, helping the uh, tackles on Chase Young with running backs, screen passes, quick passes, things like that will help in the pass game. But I want to see Michigan establish a run game and, and keep their offense off the field. Um, when you look at a guy like that, as an offensive lineman, do you take that as a challenge to try to stop a guy like that? And, and, and do you take some pride in, in something like that where everybody's talking about a guy like him? Absolutely. I, I have no doubt that our uh, offensive line is, is is wanting that. You know, you come to Michigan, and, and, and especially this game, there's a lot of pressure, but I think the pre pressure is the privilege. You want that. You know you're part of something bigger than yourself. And so now you have an opportunity. So it's no different with the offensive line. They're, they're going to want to shut him down, and and uh, I, have, I have nothing but faith in him, but a great player is a great player. You gotta help those guys and do things to put them in a position to shut them down. Pressure is the privilege. I like that. It's a very good line. Um, all right. I asked Urban Meyer and Charles Woodson this yesterday. Is there a scenario that you see that could lead to a Michigan upset here today? Yeah, absolutely. I think our team is totally capable of it. And you, you know, we struggled early in the year, but right now I think we're playing great football these last handful of games. And that's really what you want. You want to peak towards the end of the season, especially for this game. So I have no doubt we can. You still have to execute. You're capable of it. You have a great game plan. You have to be able to execute. And Ohio State's tough. So uh, if they execute, establish a run game, and uh, you know really play to their ability, it wouldn't hurt if Justin Fields fumbles it, throws some, <laughs> throws some picks. I'll take that too. That that would that would help. But you got to capitalize on that. And I think uh, I think they're totally capable. You want to make an official prediction before we let you go? I've been saying it's going to be 34-31 Michigan. All right. I think it's going to be high scoring, and uh, so we'll see. That's what I'm going with. That's why I don't do this, because I'm biased. <laughs> I'm biased. I won't lie, but I, I do think we're capable of it, and I, I, I'm going with the Michigan win. Appreciate you, Mike. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, that's Elliot Mueller. We are taking another break. We will be back with more from Ann Arbor here on The Rivalry after this.